As a paid speaker, it's absolutely crucial that you know who you're talking to. Now, this is a difficult thing for me sometimes. Um, I don't mean to sound dramatic in that way, but I also know that over the last 11 years, I've worked with so many different types of people. So that niche question, oh, it's done a number on me because I didn't have a polite answer of like, I work with people between 30 and 40 who are accountants called Janet. I, I didn't have that. I have a really wide spectrum of ages, um, situations, living circumstances. I work all over the world. Um, so I had to look at what was the solution that I could help people with. What was the... Um, what was the vibe that I wanted to bring to this party? And it could be really easy to step in to a caricature version, A, of yourself, or B, what you think people might want you to do. So when I first started speaking, and I I got a really big lucrative gig at a university and I was writing lots of their materials for them and delivering lots of things. I immediately thought, oh my goodness, how do I, <laughs> who do I need to become? What do I need to wear? And obviously like I wasn't rocking up in my jeans and I was like doing the smarter end of my wardrobe. But I didn't have to look at what other people were doing and going, right. I'm going to do that. I, I didn't feel like there was a uniform that I needed to fit into. And actually, the fact that I was external and could was doing other things, I could bring all of those elements to the table. And the students really liked that because they were like, oh, yes, OK, so that makes it much more tangible. Oh, that's a really good relatable circumstance. Ah, uh, I see. I can see how that fits into the real world. Now, I'm sure there were loads of other brilliant lectures. Because I wasn't a student, I wasn't going to those. But I think sometimes if you're internal, it's like it's about hitting these marks or telling the same stories every single time. Whereas I would approach it differently in that way. I want you to get really clear on who you want to talk to. And the answer here is not to talk to everybody because I know as tempting and lovely as that would be like, I just want to help everybody out. Not everybody wants to hear it from you. I know, there, I've said it. So the best use of your time is for you to work out who your ideal people are and then really work at pulling together your speaking keynote talk around that. In Speak Up Live, I'm going to be helping you to put together those talks and get everything ready and feeling and looking really good. So come and join me on the 1st of March. If you are watching this afterwards, send me a messing, message. Messing? They'll be messing with my messages. Um, yeah, send me a message and I can advise on how I can help you with your speaking. Uh, lots of love. Bye.